So let's kick things off with the star-studded cast of the new film, The Boys in the Band. Just two years after opening on Broadway, this is gonna be fun. The play The Boys in the Band is now a Netflix movie. To spend this much time with such a great group of people and get to repeat that experience in a new form. Uh, it's unlike anything I've ever done before. This old college friend of mine is in town, but he's straight, so do you really think he doesn't know about you? The groundbreaking play about nine gay men in New York City first performed in 1968. Both the Broadway revival and the movie featuring an all-star cast that includes Jim Parsons, Matt Bomer, Zachary Quinto, and Andrew Rannells. Our Hollywood insider, Arthur Cade, talking with the stars about bringing the story to streaming. How exciting is it to bring this groundbreaking project to the Netflix audience? The film is such a great representation. It's a different, it's different in many regards, but it's such a great representation of what we did on stage. And so I'm glad that so many people who weren't able to make it to see the show on stage will get to see this version of the story with this cast and director. I want people to see as much theater as possible. I don't, if it's on a streaming platform, that's great. If it's live, that's even better. Zachary, what do you hope the experience is when people on Netflix get to see this show? Because it was such a tangible experience on Broadway. Longing for acceptance, both from within themselves and in the world around them. Longing for love in whatever form that takes, I think is something that, that anyone can relate to. And, uh, and so I hope that that is what's triggered in, in audiences. I think it's important to see uh, the history of where we come from and that these men were going through uh, life uh, in, a, in a much, much different experience. These are nine unique uh, gay experiences. And I feel like that's groundbreaking. In the past, you would see one gay character. We have a right to empathy and we have a right to tell our stories as raw as possible and not be judged as an entire community. Ryan Murphy has been very, very good about telling LGBTQ history and putting people back into the narrative in these historical venues. I think all of us are incredibly proud of what we made. And uh, I think it will just be one of those ones that we we'll always remember. So it's not like our, the relationship that we built sort of ends with the release of this movie. It's, it's something very lasting and something that uh, really imparted something into me. I know I'm changed from it. And uh, and if it is the best experience I ever end up having, I couldn't complain. I could go to my grave happy. The Boys in the Band is out now on Netflix. We want to talk more about this trend of bringing Broadway shows to streaming platforms, from The Boys in the Band to the upcoming adaptation of the musical The Prom for Netflix, and of course, Hamilton on Disney+. Plus. I'm joined by the editor-in-chief of BroadwayWorld.com, Robert Diamond. Thanks so much for joining us. And what do you think about all of these Broadway productions coming to our living rooms? Is that a good or bad thing for Broadway theaters here in New York? I think it's a good thing for now. I think it's good to get performers working again. So I think anything that gets and keeps the Broadway community working while also getting more people excited and interested in seeing what's on live stages when it's safe to, to do that again is good for the industry as a whole. Well, Sarah Jessica Parker recently said that she's hoping to open her play Plaza Suite with her husband Matthew Broderick next spring. We start previews March 19th, we open officially April 19th. Wow. And March 19th will be a year and yeah. seven days the day that Broadway was shut down. What are you hearing about when Broadway might finally reopen? What we hear consistently is it'll probably be rolling sets of dates. So there will be some shows that come back earlier than others because they have small casts like Plaza Sweet does, where she's co-starring with her husband, so one assumes they're quarantined together. But as far as overall timelines, you know, it's going to come from the government first, and we're hearing some shows are hopeful for spring, some might be summer, some might be fall. Uh, I think we're going to see rolling dates as we go through 2021. All right, thanks so much, Robert, and we hope to see you back in a Broadway theater soon.